Hello. So hi there. We're now in our next video on science, technology, and society. And in this video, we're going to talk particularly about the inventions by Filipino scientists. So take note that there's a lot of inventions, by the way, but I'm going to um, just um, talk about some of them, some of the most important. But again, there's a lot. Um, one of those are in, in pretty much in our um, kind of, you know, modern or new um, is or are the e -jeepneys. So e -jeepneys are like standard jeepneys with only the difference that it runs on electricity. That's why there's an E there um, instead of fuel. These vehicles are the brainchild of the GRIPP, the GRIP, or the Green Renewable Independent Power Producers, and in particular, partnership with the solar electric company. So e -jeepneys don't create noise, nor do they emit um, carbon dioxide that those are what jeepneys are known for. Many advocates say that it will not only help preserve environment, but will also lessen the dependence on oil. So this is one example of an e -jeepney. And this photo is not mine. This is the source, by the way. <laughs> okay. So that is one of the important inventions, the e -jeepney. Moving on, one of the most important also by Filipino scientists is, or is the erythromycin. So we know that antibiotics are typically prescribed to us by our doctors as a remedy to ailments caused by microorganisms such as bacteria or fungi. Nowadays, most antibiotics are synthetically created in laboratories by pharmacists and chemists. Before the onset of modern medicine, however, humans dependent, depended on nature in order to deal with the disease-causing microorganisms. So we have this as our um, an, an example of antibiotics. I don't know if they're, they're just medicines, but imagine that they are antibiotics. So the first ever antibiotic is what we know what we know for as penicillin, which was discovered by famously discovered by Alexander Fleming, which is a very important cornerstone in medicine, 1926, after a mold termed penicillium nutanum, sorry if I mispronounced that, contaminated one of his experiments that um, became penicillin and then all sorts of anti antibiotics then there's a lot of discoveries then um, many follow this path to discovery including our very own dr abelardo aguilar in 1949 via soil samples he obtained from his backyard dr aguilar stumbled upon streptomyces erytheus now Sakharo something I don't know how to read this maybe I mispronounce any of these words but uh, as you can see that that's the, the that's the scientific name of it um, the bacteria that would lead to the discovery of, of erythromycin so erythromycin is an antibiotic used in treating infections of the respiratory tract legionnaires disease and diphtheria as well as UTI and STDs such as syphilis okay so it's as you can see it's very much useful um, during that time, Dr. Aguilar worked under the Ellie Lilly Company, a pharmaceutical company from the United States. The company marketed erythromycin under the brand name Ilosoni, okay, earning billions of dollars from the drug. Unfortunately, international, international patent laws stood in the way of him getting his fair share of the fruit of his discovery, which is you know, which is a, which is the bad side of this. His 40-year struggle to receive royalties from the drug he discovered ended when he died at the age of 76. As former health secretary Juan Flavier put it, Dr. Aguilar has contributed so much in the discovery of erythromycin. It is sad to hear that he got nothing out of it. So, yeah, there's always that part um, existing in science and technology, especially in discovery. So, yeah, that's one bad part of it. Next, of the inventions by Filipino scientists, but um, it's good you, you know that erythromycin is discovered by a Filipino, right? <laughs> One thing that we should be proud of is the next is the incubator. So Fidel Mundo, the first Asian to have entered the prestigious Harvard University School of Medicine, she was also credited for her studies that led to the invention of the incubator or the bamboo incubator and John this relieving device. So this is the incubator, and yeah, we are the ones who discovered this. Okay, so Fidel Mundo was the one who discovered this. Okay, that's the incubator. Next on our list is the mole remover, also one of the, the, the new inventions that we had. So the inventor, Rolando C. De La Cruz, that's Mr. De La Cruz, is an award-winning Filipino scientist and inventor. In 2000, he developed a patented formula that allows the removal of deep growth moles or warts. His formula were extracted, was extracted from the Filipino cashew tree, so Anacardium occidentale, which is common in the Philippines and known as kasoy. So that's Mr. Rolando there. 
Okay, so that's a mold remover. Um, last on our list is the, oh, well, we use this, I think, you know, we have this in our kitchens. This is the banana ketchup. So the banana ketchup was discovered by Mar Maria Rosa E. Iligan, um, born in 1892, died at the, I think this is still in the world, in the Second World War or at, by the end of it, was a Filipino food technologist, pharmaceutical chemist, humanitarian, and a war heroine. Okay. She experimented with food native to the Philippines and during the World War II developed soya lac, a nutrient-rich drink from soybeans, and darak, rice cookies packed with vitamin B1, which could also prevent beriberi disease, um, which she also helped smuggle into Japanese-run internment camps, which helped save the lives of thousands of Filipino, Americans, and other nationals. She introduced to the public the well-known banana ketchup. Okay, so that's um, courtesy of Maria Rosa I Iligan, also a Filipino, and we're using this. I know we have one in our kitchens, I bet. Okay, so um, that's it for our video for the inventions of Filipino scientists. Let's wrap it up. We have talked about the Egypni, okay, we've talked about um, the erythromycin in medicine, the incubator or the bamboo incubator, we have the mold remover fairly recently, and the banana ketchup. Okay, so those are the things that, that we have talked about in this video, and yeah, that's the inventions of Filipino scientists all in all. Um, I just got to tell you there's a lot more that we have invented um, the fluorescent lamp, the yo-yo and such, but um, that's that's it for this video. At least uh, there's uh, some taste of the inventions by Filipino scientists. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you learned something from it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, uh, I'll be doing more of these videos in Science, Technology, and Society. Okay, so thank you very much. See you in the next video. Okay, bye.